2023 hi hey everybody um it's my first vlog for 2023 and i'm actually on my way out to get healthy weekly grocery eh healthy key point healthy um i've been i've been eating and very healthy over the past three or four days but also portion controlling also um uh, what is this drinking lots of water um it is one of my intentions and goals for the year to eat a lot healthier than i have in the last couple of months of the last the latter part of uh, 2022 so i'm on my way to woolies right now to go get um yeah so i'm on my way to woolies right now to go get my weekly freshly produce for um the week weekly freshly produce for the week is i'm on my way to get my weekly produce uh, from Woolies and just before that I need to pop into Discam to get um, my apple cider vinegar which I absolutely love and you guys know that I'm also back on intermittent fasting sir why oh lady okay um, I'm also back on intermittent fasting so for the last ooh, for the last I'd like to say five days I've been eating after 12 o'clock and that's just it's helped I'm I'm quite hungry right now because it is uh, 25 to 2 so good sis is home but because I am going to Woolies I'll probably pick up a salad or what have you I'll do a grocery haul first go grocery haul for 2023 why not but I'm gonna quickly pop into this came here by me there's a new disc came by me and i'm really excited to see it it's been open for a couple of months now but i have not seen it at all so oh got lucky got a parking space right outside the door chap i know that's right so i'm gonna check it out and hopefully get all the things that i am looking for hopefully okay let's go Thank you. 
So hang on. All right. So hang on. You won't believe this. I spent all that time talking about this is what I got, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have to speed that up because I completely forgot that my camera was on slow-mo from my last video, but we're now back on track. We should be back on track, but I will still, um, by now, as you're watching this, I will have given you a montage of what I have gotten, and then I'll explain everything to you in terms of um, what I was saying in terms of my healthy eating a little bit later. I'm so sorry about that. I completely forgot that my camera was in slow-mo. And right now, half of everything that I have picked up in the grocery haul, I'm already packing away. So I'm, I'm going to pack that stuff away. And then as I make my lunch slash breakfast slash everything, it's already two o'clock, I will explain to you my health choices for at least the next month or two even, uh, January and February for me. So sorry about that. I'm actually wearing makeup because I was recording content today. This is one of the things that I said in the beginning of the video. Anyway. As you can see, here is my breakfast slash lunch. Uh, pretty much lunch. I haven't had breakfast today. Um, and I'm going to be having it with a green juice. Now, the reason why I say this is a green juice is because I did not add any yogurt this time around. So the yogurt isn't there to make it thicker or anything like that. It's just spinach and the baby spinach and the, what do you call that thing? That uh, freshly squeezed cold pressed juice uh, with the lemon and the ginger. That's all that's in here. So there's got, there's a little bit of spice to it. And then here I've got just a piece of chicken, half of that uh, bulgur wheat uh, salad that I showed in the grocery haul, and a little bit of the what's this a little bit of the beetroot and that's pretty much what i'm going to be having for lunch this should keep me satiated at all costs okay until dinner time dinner will be pretty much a repetition of the same thing i'll have the remaining half of this and then i will have it with maybe some more of those mixed greens that i showed you in the in the grocery haul part of the video and then I'll have it with another piece of meat and some what is that thing beetroot <laughs> but before I sit down to eat because I'm so ravenous I'm not even gonna film that portion listen I just want to have a chat with you guys about this journey that I'm on so before I commence my eating and all of that I just wanted to share with you guys what I was busy trying to say in the grocery haul part of this clip or of this video today until I realized that it's in slow-mo, which is what happened when I was recording my 
New Year's Eve content and yeah I forgot to switch it back but it's fortunately it's just a grocery haul so I will just sort of play music on top of that and show you what I got but for the most part what I was saying there is that I am just on a healthy um, minimal carb um, restriction for myself it's a personal choice for the next two months as well as with alcohol a major restriction in my alcohol intake for the next two months um, as you know I'm someone who when I come back from work I like to pour myself a glass of um, whiskey even though whiskey you know with ice or neat it's really not a problem it doesn't really do much for your body um but i'm trying i'm sorry i'm sick i've got i'm on the tail end of um i'm on the tail end of my sickness i've got the flow but my voice will tend to go in and out uh, as i talk today but what i was trying to say is that uh, with my alcohol, I'm trying to restrict it to maybe once over the weekend and definitely whatever it is that I'm having, I'm having it neat and I'm not having um, no ciders, no GNT, no G and soda water, nothing. It's going to be just whiskey and literally maybe a glass or two and have it neat or with ice and that's it. Um, but I'm going to actively try not to have it if I don't have to. Um, and then with my food, I have cut out all your rices, all your pastas, um, whole wheat or white. It doesn't necessarily matter. Um, what I am going to be incorporating in the form of carbs will be the bulgur wheat and possibly maybe even quinoa um that's pretty much it and i don't intend to have that more than once or twice a week for the most part everything will be everything i will be eating for the next month or two will be um will be <laughs> proteins and vegetables fruits greens pretty much vegetables fruits greens my proteins that's it lots of water i'm on four to five liters of water a day and just trying to get my body in the correct health space and one of the things that i talk about in my yearly reset video is about gym and how i mentally just don't feel like i'm in the space where i need to be at the gym gym takes a lot of commitment and discipline and i know that once i am back at the gym i'm very disciplined i i don't go one day two days then stop i literally am religious at gym but right now i'm not feeling mentally in the space where i want to be at gym but especially with a new variant of covid cha cha However, I do want to incorporate more movement into my daily routine. So that movement will involve stretches, yoga here at home, stretches here at home. Um, and also maybe if I can find a Pilates studio around here, I'd love to do that maybe twice a month. We'll see. And <clears throat> that's pretty much it in terms of the movement. And I'm going to try... Uh, walking in one space I, I don't know what they call it where you just pace up and down to try and get your steps in but for now that's all I want to focus on my biggest focus oh my, the weather is wild today it's coming in and out of the clouds but my biggest focus um, this time around is at least for the next two months is to eat correctly cook more at home uh, also made the very cognizant very difficult decision with my partner not to eat out because that's something we eat we do a lot um we are both going to i'm sorry we are my god but apologies my chapises i'm sorry uh, we have both decided that we are going to eat at home and we're going to prepare food at home every once in a while we'll go out we are people who go out every weekend so that's just not it for us um, we are working on saving for a really big trip towards the end of the year not in December 
probably October, November. And it's a big trip that's going to involve a lot of money. So from both our parts. So we've just decided that, you know what, the one big thing that will help is to just cut off the going out and the eating out. So yeah, going to cook more at home. So there'll be a lot of more food content in my vlogs, my home vlogs. And that's pretty much it, you know. But I'll also pop in a little bit later to talk to you about the books that I've read this year so far. I'm on my second book right now and it's not going the best. I'm not going to lie. It's not going well. <laughs> it's taking everything in me to DNF that book. Honestly, just to just put it down and read something else. And I can do that. But I'm giving it a chance. So anyway, I'm going to have my lunch now and I'll touch back in with you guys a little bit later. To be honest, I really don't know where this vlog is in life, okay? So I'm not going to say this is the beginning of the vlog or this is going to join in the middle of the vlog. I don't know anything. Um, but all I have to say is two things. Um, my herpes is going away, thank goodness. Uh, that took about a week. Secondly, I was woken up at 1 o'clock this morning by a cat that jumped into my yard and set off my alarm and then my security company called me and of course I was in a panic I immediately when my alarm went off I was just like <laughs> that was me and uh, <laughs> and um, I didn't quite sleep up until after that um, I think I probably passed out around 3 3 30 and I was up again at 7 this morning. So I feel fine. I don't feel tired or anything like that. The only other downside is I pretty much have been sick since I got the herpes. So actually I've had the herpes for almost two weeks now. Almost. Mm. So I've, I've been sick for almost two weeks now. And I got it from my dad. So I feel better. But my voice is not... My voice is not there yet, okay? And that's fine. But I feel better. Today's Saturday. I spent the morning TikToking, I guess. Not TikToking, but like I just put up a couple of TikToks and Instagram snaps and stuff. And then I read a little bit. Um, if you're not following me on TikTok or Instagram, please do. I would really appreciate that. I am going to be working on doing a lot of short form content. Um, this year, I'm very new to TikTok, so I'm still working my way around stitches and duets and 
the kind of stuff. It's really foreign stuff to me. I just go on there and I speak whatever I want to speak or say whatever I want to say or post whatever I want to post and then I leave. So, but I really want to be more interactive on t TikTok. YouTube shorts, I think I understand a little bit more than TikTok. Um, but yeah, um, then after that, I decided to read. I'm currently 45 pages into Hamlet. And this is my third book of the year. The first book was Liwa by Jackie Pamute. And if you want to see what I thought of that book, you can feel free to go onto my Instagram and you'll see a picture of the book along with its synopsis and the caption and my thoughts on it and what I rated it. And the one after that was, what was it? Conversations of an Oxygen Thief? Not Conversations. Diary of an Oxygen Thief, I think, um, which I just could not stand. I rated it a one out of um, five because you are just following a really narcissistic, misogynistic man who gets hurt by a woman um, and then decides that, well, going forward, what he's going to do is hurt other women and he's going to enjoy it and hurt them as in break their hearts, not physically hurt them or harm them like that, but like break their hearts. And I'm pretty much reading his diary of his thoughts and what he does and whatever. And it just came across as so misogynistic and narcissistic. I just couldn't. I'm so glad that the book was like a hundred and something odd pages, really short. So I finished it without deciding to DNF it. So, um, so my next book is Hamlet, which I have been so excited to read. I've been wanting to read. This is by Mar Maggie O'Farrell, and it follows a young boy by the name of Hamnet. And Hamnet is a twin, and he grows up in the streets of, not London, but Newlands, Hewlands, or something like that. And he's a twin. His twin sister is Judith, his mother Agnes, and his father, William Shakespeare. And uh, the book essentially opens with Hamnet running down the stairs, trying to find all the older people in the house because Judith has taken ill and she's become sick and um, he's trying to get someone older to come and have a look at her. Um, but essentially we follow Hamlet's story. I'm not that far in the book um, of him trying to find people. Uh, he's got a very tumultuous relationship with his grandfather. He lives with his grandfather, his mom, his grandmother, his older sister Susanna, Judith, and himself. You know how people would always say, um, oh, the book is written so well. I'd even say, this book is written impeccably well. Oh my God, this book is written so well. Honestly, this book is written really, really well. Oh my gosh, it's written so well. <coughs> anyway, so I was supposed to be at my partner's place from yesterday. But I will probably head over there today. Um, but before I head over there, I think him and I are going to meet at the well-known, infamous uh, Asian market, which is called, called Kokoro. And it's in four ways. And because I'm heading over to his place afterwards, I kind of figured he's, gonna, he's also in four ways meeting up with his mates for breakfast and cars because men are weird and uh after that i think he might meet me there so that he can pay the bill because <laughs> i'm i'm thinking i'm really craving i've been eating so well this week that i'm really craving something asian to eat um and i'm really craving rice cakes and i know i shouldn't be having them because they're not the healthiest but ugh, figure it out. I just want to really see the store. So I will try and vlog with my phone when I'm in there. So I'm probably going to read a little bit. It is still 9 o'clock in the morning. It's 9.30. I'm going to read a little bit more. And then get ready. Um, pack a bag. Uh, my skilava bag, chips. My skilava. I'm going to pack my skilava bag full of dresses because it's so hot yo it's so hot and then i am gonna take a shower do my face just 
just something light i feel like wearing makeup today um do my face do something light and then head on out otherwise living sharp i'll talk to you guys a little bit later Places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life. You like to drive, get down and dirty. You act like the bad guy. You want some love, be like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me. we spray our linen that's why it's called a linen mist we spray our linen just because rona go atla di camera tsa gona di nga ha monate re batla linen ya rona e nga ha monate le se ka tlo makala you surprise yourself why are you guys spraying we are spraying because we want okay acho ko re lona have you ever felt like you could take a bucket of cold water go up to the sun and douse that milk with that water because I, I i just i've been sitting here for the past 10 minutes trying to just calm down from the heat and the sweat because i've just taken a shower i want to do my face but yo i go shoo shoo hey watch this man i'm gonna watch this man what is this what are we supposed to do holy j oh 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 Morena, ay, bona fel, ay, 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 ay. Continuing, you guys know how I do my makeup, so we're not gonna have a whole spiel. You guys know how I do my makeup. I'm gonna do that. I'll come back. Sikit lukaita, sikit lukile, one of the two, and then ratabu. I have to coordinate my time with my partner because unzali strating. And then I don't have time for that nonsense. Me, me, I can tell you for free. He can continue there on the streets. Me, I'm going to do what I need to do. And then get like up and lena high. Get like somewhere. Get to something. Get like up and lena high because ah, yah, we are not get to him again. Sure. This guy, Mela Banna. Don't ever wait for a man. Has a man ever waited for you? Exactly. Don't do that. Get up and make up and then get hella ice water. With a lemon and make my way out of this house because cha. And at that time, my car is so dirty. Make you feel a bed. It's so dirty. Hey, chaps. I am on my way out. Um, I've, I was shutting down, closing up the house, and everything. I'm done. And then I'm possibly going to be meeting up with Balesa after that, just for a quick drink. And then I am gonna head out to go see the minions. Okay? So, Ari. I'm back like I never left. <laughs> okay. Oh. Guys, it's so hot. Yo. I'm tasting the rice snack. It's nice. It's actually quite nice. Shout out. Let's let you step. Shout out to all the JK people that see me in the streets of Joburg and Beat me when I'm drunk. Sometimes I remember, sometimes I don't. <laughs> but hey, y'all. Oh my god, this is good. What Maybe it's also because I'm hungry. Ah. Mm -hmm. So, right, left. 
it's so nice. Guys, also I'm not talking about guys who are shopping in Yeah, <laughs> but it's actually a really dope shop. Like he's gonna put you guys on probably at the beginning of this video. Mm -hmm. It's so dope. You guys must come mm -hmm. here if you. What is wrong with you? Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm tasted. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm gonna do like sirah sirah. No, do not. Do not. Do not. Like jokes aside. That was really good. Ah, baby girl. Um, killing your night thing. That's good right now. You have to finish Why the is one. Why is it sugary? It's funny. It's funny. The rice cake. Mm. 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 Wonderful. You know what? This tastes like that. You know how hot it is when you eat the skin and then you don't want to eat the skin then you eat the inside. This tastes like the rice cake. I don't normally eat the inside. So I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what she's talking about. Do you know right. where we can go to? That place that we always wanted to check on Bitcoin. What is it? Wow. It's a couple of days later. I just got back from work. It is currently quarter past four and the power has just gone as well thanks has gone yo we're really going through it um we're really going through it in south africa like you know being without power for like 10 hours plus a day especially for the last uh, couple of days uh it's not in in a straight like for 10 hours straight it's just kind of split up throughout the day and it's very very frustrating my nail was lifting, but that's neither here nor there. I wanted to catch you up. Um, it is <clears throat> officially Tuesday, so I've been working all week. Wow, it genuinely looks like there could be something there. Um, I've been going to work, and it was just a, a really crazy weekend where I took some time out. I really just... Uh, went over and hung out with my partner over the weekend um i've just been feeling mentally without saying too much i had a very mentally rough entry into 2023 i tried to keep a straight face i really tried to keep a straight face i've been struggling i've been struggling quite a bit um but i i think things will get better i think things will get better um, today was work and while I was at work, I actually shot something for Vodacom. As you guys know, I am currently working with Vodacom. So I had to shoot something at work for Vodacom. There's also some really exciting news that, you know, I'm going to share with you. I don't know if I should be sharing it with you now, but I will know by later on tonight. So maybe, maybe tomorrow. I'll share it tomorrow. Um, but, you know, things kind of started off shaky mentally for me and, uh, physically as well because of, I've been sick. Hey, has this tea. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this tea. This is the ginger and turmeric tea. This tea is so good. I was, I've been drinking this tea for three days and I haven't felt as good as I feel right now. Um, so I'm, I'm literally on the mend. I think I'm 95% there. Just the voice tends to slip in and out every now and again. And all of that nonsense, all of that hoo-ha, but it's fine. Um, I'm, I'm almost there. My sister is the one who just WhatsApped me. Because we don't have any power, I am going to make myself a snack because I don't need to cook. I'll probably cook tomorrow. Um, I don't need to cook. I've got salads and meat in the fridge. So I'm going to make myself a snack right now, um, just so I can nibble on something. And it's pretty much just going to be melon. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I feel like having melon and I bought it the other day. So I'm gonna make some melon and then continue to read Hamnet and Wait for the power to come back in the next hour and 45 minutes. 
fun. Fun times. Let's do that. Don't prove me wrong. Prove you right. Don't prove me wrong. Prove you right. My word is but we don't spit no lies. A daughter of the sunshine. Thank you.